Silvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. We're here in the DevNet Zone in Barcelona, and I'm here with my friend Zias. Hey, Sylvia, it's great to be back. Um, Zias Caravalla from uh, ZK Research, I'll say, since we're in Europe, but ZK Research for the folks stateside. I'm not going to do a British accent, but I'll go with the Z. That's cool. So I've been so busy here in the DevNet Zone, I haven't really had a chance to go out, so thank you for all your tweets during the keynote. Tell me what they talked about and what you liked. Actually, what I liked about, uh, there was a, a ton of new product, right? And, and actually, one of the things that I really liked was there's more integration across the products. You saw Liz Santoni talk about the integration of Intersight with AppD. I think that's a big thing. And uh, in fact, all the new networking products are all API first, so they integrate easier. And I think that's a big thing for Cisco. Cisco's always had a broad palette, but none of the products work very well together. And I think through APIs, they do. And so that was my big takeaway. It wasn't so much just the new product. Cisco always has a lot of new product, but the products work better together and that brings more value to the customer because they're able to see more, they're able to secure better, they're able to manage better, and they're able to automate more. So you've heard that we're now part of the customer experience family, and I think that's a great idea because now we'll be able to help people with their hardware and their software. What do you think that means for the customers? Yeah, I think actually that's, a, in some ways, that's a maturation of DevNet, right? I, I think when it's part of the product group, you could argue that it was very... Uh, feature rich, right, uh, to try to drive new features in the products, and you've done that. And so I think it is, from a maturity standpoint, time to move out of the product group and into CX, because a lot of what your customers are doing with DevNet is actually putting in new systems to help them with their digital transformation plans. And most of those plans revolve around customer experience, employee experience improvement, and so I think that's where a lot of the professional services you get on the CX side can help. So marrying DevNet and CX, I think, is a very smart thing to do. And again, I think it, it just shows the relative maturity of DevNet with Inside Cisco. It's no longer product-driven, it's customer-driven. And you've been following DevNet since before it was DevNet. So how does this make you feel? Well, it's great. Actually, I, I'll admit, as an analyst, I'm not wrong very often, right? But I was wrong on this one because I had seen many, many instantiations of DevNet before it was called DevNet. And they didn't, they didn't work very well. I think a lot of them failed, not because the structure wasn't there, but I think from a Cisco commitment level it wasn't there. And I don't know if the market was really ready, but I think this version of DevNet is a best-in-class developer program. And uh, I think it's helping engineers, it's helping companies, it's helping people that would, you would never think, you know, in third world countries that go through the Netacad program and get their DevNet certifications wind up getting jobs. So I think DevNet actually has an opportunity of having a big societal impact, right? And I think that's, uh, that's not something I would have said five years ago. Well, thank you. Thank you for your words now, especially, and, uh, you know, regarding what you said back then. But Susie's been a differentiating factor in this. Have you had a chance to talk to her this week? Oh, yeah. Su Susie's been huge for DevNet. I think she's been uh, she's been a force to be reckoned with inside Cisco. And I think when Susie started the program, not every, not all the execs at Cisco really believed in it. But she's such a bulldog, right, that she made this program work. She, she almost willed it into what it is today. And, and I think kudos to her. And I, I tweeted yesterday that, I, that if you're a Cisco engineer and you like working with Cisco gear, you should love DevNet because this is going to fuel their next wave of their career. And so I think... Um, I don't want to make, you know, have this go to Susie's head, but uh, <laughs> frankly, if, if she hadn't put this program together, I think the Cisco customer base would be stagnating a little bit. And I think this gives everybody that works with Cisco gear and all your partners, all your customers, an opportunity to really modernize their careers, modernize their businesses in a way that they, could, they couldn't have done without this program. Now, let's, let's come back to the partners. Last time we spoke, it was in San Diego. Yeah. And Susie had just announced the new DevNet certifications. But now there's the... DevNet partner specialization. So have you heard about that and what do you think about it? Yeah, I have seen those and I think it's important because DevNet's gotten uh, some pretty good, pretty good size and critical mass. And so customers now that they're aware of it, they're starting to get certified on it, will start looking for partners that are specializing in that, right? And so I think that's important uh, from a partner standpoint to help them differentiate. And uh, I know historically when you look at all the other uh, Cisco certifications and the, the other programs has got Cisco Power things. I'd often see customers write into their RFPs that they mandate a certain number of CCIEs be on staff or they have to be Cisco Power Partner or, or a Cisco Pro Services Partner, something like that. And I fully expect that to be the same thing. I think for the partners that are willing to invest in the program, invest in their people, they'll be able to use the DevNet specialization as a differentiator. And I think that's a huge thing. Thank you so much for that. I. I wonder, are you going to go for any of the DevNet certs? Um, probably not. Well, actually, I'm, I thought about it. Actually, I was watching on stage yesterday, and uh, I'm a pretty good software 
you know, guy. And so, although I, my software skills were a little old, I've been being an analyst for a while. But I thought about doing it and uh, actually seeing, me, you know, maybe I'll spin one and uh, I'll spin one of those up and uh, get a certification. So. Check, well, check with me next year this time. We will check with you to see if you're within the DevNet 500. The DevNet 500 are the first 500 people to pass any of the level DevNet certifications. If you want to learn more about DevNet certifications, developer.cisco.com slash certification. And for those partners, developer.cisco.com slash partners, because this is a good thing for them, isn't it? It is a great thing for them. And actually, the, don't underestimate the 500. I know the, the low number CCIEs, right? That's a that's a huge thing. I mean, they're they're revered in the world of networking, right? They they walk around the show and they're almost treated like like legends, right? And so I expect the, the low number DevNet to be the same way. So anybody that's working with the stuff today, I'd really urge you, if you're planning to get certified, try and be one of those first 500 because I think it'll be a meaningful differentiator for them. I agree. I have a lot of friends who are those low number CCAs and it does go to their head. Yeah, it does go to their head, yeah. they uh, Well, and rightfully so. They, they learned something. They were way ahead of the curve. So. So if you want to be ahead of the curve, lesson to see us. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It was great being here.